Hello students, now we will learn about different types of racemose inflorescence. Already we have seen racemose inflorescence means flowers are developed on the main floral axis but the tip region or the apex of the peduncle is not terminating with a flower. Such type of inflorescence is called as racemose inflorescence. This will write one word meaning of racemose inflorescence. Flowers developed on main floral axis which is also called as peduncle but peduncle is not terminated with a flower. And also, in case of racemose inflorescence, we see arrangement of flowers in acropetal manner or order. Means the older flowers are at the base region and the younger flowers are at the apical region, but near to the apical region. So, under racemose inflorescence, what are the Types. First one under racemose inflorescence, simple raceme second one branched raceme or panicle type of inflorescence. Third one spike type of raceme. Next, catkin type of racemose inflorescence. Here we write racemose. Spike type of racemose inflorescence. Next, fifth one, spikelet racemose. Sixth one, spadix type of racemos. Seventh one, corimb type of racemos. Eighth one, umbel type of racemos. Ninth one, capitulum type of racemos. Under simple raceme, here we see one single main axis with flowers on it. Like this. We see such type of acropetal manner in case of mustard radish etc. This main floral axis is called as peduncle. Here some important points that are required for MCQs are here flowers are bisexual. Next simple racine shows arrangement of flowers is acropetal manner. Type of branching is monopodial branching. So this is about simple pressing. Next about second one. Branched raceme or panicle type of inflorescence. This type we see, so second one, panicle 
or branched resin. This type of inflorescence we see in case of Cisalpinaceae members and Gulmohar. Gulmohar and Cisalpinaceae family members. So here one peduncle develops but it gives arrays. Here the word itself we have seen branch means some branches are developed on the main axis. So this is peduncle. These are branches. See here at any branch, we don't see the tip part terminating with the flower. So here also it is monopodial only. Here also flowers are bisexual, but all the flowers will be having stock to hold. So the flowers are said to be pedicillate flowers. Flowers are having pedicil or stock to hold. So, called as pedicillate, the condition or the types of flowers. If they give simply pedicillate also, it is correct. Flowers are bisexual. You see in case of Cisalpinaceae family members and Gulmohar. Next one, spike. Racemose a type of inflorescence. Here we will write third one spike type of inflor racemose inflorescence. Flowers are bisexual, but flowers do not have the stalk to hold. If this is the peduncle, flowers are directly attached like this. There is no pedicel seen in flowers. Such types of flowers are called sessile flowers. No pedicel to flowers. So called sessile flowers. In which types of inflorescence do we see? Such type of spike inflorescence. We see in case of Typha, examples are very much important. Amaranthus. Next, Echiranthus. Examples are very much important in all types of inflorescence. Next one, fourth one, Catkin inflorescence. Catkin type of racemose inflorescence. Such type of arrangement is seen in case of mulberry and morris. So how such type of uh, uh, catkin type of inflorescence is seen? Here we said that in case of spike, flowers are bisexual. But here flowers are unisexual and sessile. Flowers are unisexual. But sessile. Sessile means no stock to hold or no pedicel to the flower. But sessile. Here also in case of racemose inflorescence. If this is the branch or the stem. It shows acropetal manner only. So we see in case of mulberry and morris. Next one, spikelet resin. Oh, spikelet racemose. This is fifth one. 
spikelet type of inflorescence it is seen in case of rice wheat etc rice or or rice because scientific name or botanical name of rice is oryza sativa here if this is the main branch here spikelet inflorescence is having two types of bracts one is sterile bract another one is fertile bract so first we will write two types of bracts will be present one at the base actually i have written for understanding this bract will be completely covering this uh, flower flower part when it is young and one is attached to the flower the one which is giving a rise to flower or which is attached to the flower that is called fertile bract or bloom another one is sterile bract or bloom uh, bloom which is not attached to the flower this is sterile bloom or bract not attached to flower the upper one which is attached to flower or which protects the flower is fertile bloom means there are two types of bracts this structure is somewhat sepal like it is called as palea and these round red color structures are called lodicules and these are stamen and this is gynoecia sterile bloom has no flower this point also is important to know no flower but fertile bloom is having flower next is spadix inflorescens spadix inflorescens spadix inflorescens is seen in case of coconut here the peduncle holds different types of flowers like male flowers female flowers and also uh, sterile flowers or neutral flowers your canna another example banana another example if this is the peduncle the bract supports the total flowers like this this bract modified is called spathe spathe type of bract at the bottom region will be female flowers at the tip region will be male flowers and the middle part will be neutral flowers so here the modified bract is called as spathe and type of inflorescence is spadix inflorescens so next one after spadix racemos type of inflorescence next one is corymba here So seventh one, corymb. Under corymb type of inflorescence, the length of pedicels of the flowers in an inflorescence they vary, so that all will be reaching the same level. So, if this is an condensed uh, peduncle, so it will be very short. It will be very condensed or compressed. The length of pedicels. in that inflorescence means here the flowers are pedicellate all will be having different length so the middle one will be having shorter length the bottom one will be having longer length but all will be terminating with the same level of flowers we see such type of corymb inflorescence in cauliflower cauliflower 
and here arrangement of flowers is acropetal manner or, or acropetal order flowers are bisexual length of pedicels vary or it is different so all flowers will be at same level same level such type of inflorescence is called corymb type of inflorescence next one umbel type of inflorescence Eighth one, umbel type of inflorescence. Of inflorescence. Length of pedicels. All pedicels or length of all flowers is same. Here length of pedicels is the same in all flowers. So such type of umbel type of inflorescence is seen in case of onion. In case of carrot and coriander, we see branched umbel. Normally, in case of onion, if this is a compressed uh, peduncle, all will be having same length. So, the level of flowers is not same. Level of flowers is not same. So, this will be the peduncle. In case of branched umbel, seen in carrot and coriander, length of all pedicels will be same. So, these are few examples of uh, starting from simple receive up to umbel. Next pending is capitate and capitulum type of inflorescence. Ninth type is capitulum. Capitulum type of inflorescence. This is seen in case of sunflower. Here, Main axis is not compressed like this or grown vertically like this. Here, main axis or peduncle is horizontally flattened and very thick. Main axis is horizontally flattened. It means that if this is the stalk that we hold, peduncle is like this. Now, it holds two different types of florets. These are called ray florets. Ray florets are said to be pistillate flowers because they have only female reproductive structure that is gynosium or pistil. Pistillate flowers. These are also called as neuter flowers. Neuter flowers. Pistillate flowers in case of sunflower are also called as neuter flowers. These are called disc florets. Disc florets are bisexual. It means ray florets have only gynosium, so they are unisexual. <coughs> Since it is holding two types of flowers, this is called heterogeneous head. Heterogeneous head. Capitate inflorescence. 
capitate type of inflorescence is seen in case of mimosa pudica that is touch me not plant and also acacia here there will be one stalk that is holding the total inflorescence in case of other types of inflorescence we have seen peduncle growing longitudinally in some type it is growing as heterogeneous head horizontally flattened but in case of captate it is just like a circular head like this or just a ball like same length pedicels will be arised same length pedicels will be arised here flowers are again bisexual since they have pedicels flowers are pedicellate so these are 10 different types of racemose type of inflorescence